As many of you know, I have been waiting for some parts to come in and I am glad to tell you that today, today is that day. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't think Hal is happy with the situation with the garage right now. And I can't really blame her because these boxes are huge. I mean, just look at how big they are. And that's because both of these are housing something very special that you can see I kinda dove into the boxes a little bit already, but that's just uh, because when these arrived on the pallet on the semi truck, the guy literally had to back up to my garage and then lower the gate so we could get these off. Um, I actually had to check to make sure there was no damage on any of the parts that were showing up here. Now, I did get worried a little bit because some of these boxes did come. I mean, you can see this one's kind of caved in and then this one over here is kind of the same, but uh, this one does have a sticker on here that says do not stack. So I don't know if it was just don't stack on the smaller one or any of them, but um, either way, all the parts are completely fine and I'm going to show you guys that in just a minute. As you guys can see, obviously on the side of the box, there's no hiding it. These are road armor parts. So that is right. Uh, we have some road armor parts here, actually a lot of road armor parts that we will be installing on the Wrangler. And I get asked this question a lot, Ben, what kind of fender flares are those? Ben, what kind of fender flares are those? Ben, where'd you get those fender flares? And uh, it's pretty much what everybody kind of knows me for at this moment is these color match metal fender flares that I have. Uh, these are actually the road armor fender flares and you can see as well as the inner fender liners. But you guys were not the only ones paying attention to the whole situation with the fender flare. Oh, too dark. You guys weren't the only ones paying attention to the fender flares on the Wrangler. Uh, matter of fact, the marketing coordinator from Road Armor uh, found my Instagram, uh, saw my page, but they were actually super impressed with the color match flares and the inner fender liners and how well uh, they looked color matched on the Mojito. So after a while of talking to Road Armor, uh, they actually wanted to become partners with me and the channel and my Instagram, um, all this stuff. They're actually sending me out to SEMA as well this year and they actually gave Hallie a pass as well. So she's not really into cars, but we'll see how this goes. Hopefully after SEMA, she'll let me buy a lot more stuff for the Jeep. <laughs> but yeah, as I said, after a while of talking to Road Armor, uh, we got to uh, an agreement where we are actually going to become partners. So we are actually partners with Road Armor. So uh, I got to pick out a ton of parts that I wanted to throw uh, on the Wrangler and show off for them. Uh, I'm, the Jeep isn't going to SEMA. Let's get this straight. The Jeep isn't going to SEMA, but I actually will be out there. So. Uh, you'll see me, but not the Jeep. Anyways, I'm so excited to show you guys all the stuff that came in. Uh, we're gonna unbox this here on uh, the video. I wanna show you how well this stuff is actually packaged. I mean, granted the box is kind of like smashed a little bit, a little smushed, but that's just because there's a lot of space in this huge box, but you can see just how well wrapped this is. If you guys remember my Fender video, how long it actually took me to unwrap some of this stuff, it is super, super, super protected. There is a very high chance that this will come completely undamaged. I mean, I would be very surprised if there was any damage to any of these parts at all. But let's go ahead and get into the meat and potatoes of this video. You guys came here for a reason and it is to see all of the parts and uh, me unbox them and see what is in store for the Jeep. And I know you guys probably wanna dive right into the two big boxes, but for right now, we're gonna dive into the smaller box because this is something that we've been needing for a very, very long time. Actually, I decided before I cut this open with a razor blade, I wanna show you guys just how well packaged this stuff actually is. I mean, there's saran wrap and then there's foam wrap and then there's another layer of foam wrap and it just wrapped and wrapped and wrapped and wrapped. Uh, this is all the hardware, I know that for sure, so we don't really need to take a look at that. But as you guys could already tell, kind of by like the curvature of this and pretty much how flat that back piece is, this is actually the inner fender liners for the rear. You guys can see it comes uh, in raw steel. Uh, this is actually the same thing that happened to the inner fender liners for the front. Uh, that is why I had them uh, kind of linexed or 
bedline, I use bed liner. Definitely, these are stainless. They're not gonna mark up or rust or anything like that. Uh, but I did wanna add a little bit more protection because uh, obviously they're gonna be up underneath there and taking rock chips and all that kind of stuff. Plus, I think it looks a little bit cleaner when it's kind of all blacked out underneath there as opposed to having this uh, kind of adding like another color to the Jeep. So, but that is why they send it stainless steel in case you want to paint them, uh, bed line them, do whatever you want to them. You can even leave them raw if you wanted to. Obviously, you guys can see just how bare and kind of ugly it is under there. You can see straight to like this goes to the other side on the inside of the Jeep like that's the wheel well but obviously we want to clean that up a little bit protect uh, all the harnesses uh, and make it look a little bit cleaner in there as we did with the front I probably will end up doing the exact same kind of bed liner and uh, green logo all right and next we're gonna open up this big boy I bet you guys can't guess what this is I'll give you a couple seconds to leave a comment below but what do you think this is? Give you five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well, let's unwrap it and see if you were right. Ooh. Okay, so how many of you guessed Tire swing gate. Now you're probably wondering, why did you get a swing gate? You already have a road armor bumper and there's no like attachment point for the swing gate. Well, you can get it two different ways. You can actually order a bumper that comes with the like tire mount and swing gate. It actually has a pre-cut hole here uh, for the mount. However, because I got my bumper before I actually ordered the entire swing gate uh, system setup deal, uh, you actually can retrofit them to the road armor bumpers. You just have to pretty much measure out and re-drill like your own hole here. Uh, and then it mounts to, well I was off a little bit, right? Right about here. Uh, it actually mounts to the frame on the bottom here. So none of the pressure for this heavy, heavy tire actually goes on this rear tailgate anymore, which I feel so sorry for you right now because I know you're carrying a lot of weight, but it'll be transferred to the actual frame. So uh, that is gonna be a whole nother deal. That video is gonna take me a little while. I actually looked at the instructions um, and that one might take me a little bit, but because I have to do it myself here, there is, the, I'm assuming that's what these other boxes are, are all of the parts to mount them. And you can see this is actually the spindle part. So this end of the swing gate will actually mount to this spindle on the end here. I'm not gonna unwrap this just yet. I'll save this one for the next video. Okay, open up these other boxes just to make sure that I had all the other parts to uh, mount this swing gate. Um, but there's actually a third box in here and I forgot that I actually got, if you guys can see how this mounts, that's right, this is a 50 inch light bar mount that actually has a mount for a single cube as well. Now before everybody starts going in the comments, I hate 50 inch light bars. I even talked a little bit of crap about light bars uh, here on the channel before as well. I really do love the current setup that I have right now. But I think it's time for a change. I think it's something uh, that it kind of almost looks like the Jeep is missing something on the front end. But I pro I will most likely keep this 30 inch single row right here. So I would have an extra cube on either side so I could take one and move this to somewhere else which I'm probably going to end up using for either the front or the rear bumper. But I've come to the conclusion that uh, it's kind of bare up there. I've seen so many Jeeps with 50 inch light bars. I'm honestly not a fan. Obviously you get called a mall crawler more often, all this kind of stuff. Uh, I'm actually gonna do that as well as eventually I'm gonna do a roof rack. I just haven't decided on which one just yet. But I've had the front end of the Jeep looking like this for over a year now and I think it's time for a change. So go ahead, get down there, hate on me because by the time this Jeep is done, I, th I think you guys will like it. And it is now time for the piece of la resistance. There's a reason I saved this box for last. This is 
the main reason I wanted to go with Rota Armor. This is probably, out of all the stuff that I have besides my Fender Flares, because I love the Color Match Flares, don't get me wrong, this is probably my number one favorite part that I've gotten from Road Armor to put on the Jeep. And that is my front bumper. And you guys, wait until I unwrap this thing. I think you guys are gonna love this. You need to be a little less amazing at packaging because I can't even get to my freaking bumper yet. There's seriously three layers of foam, two layers of bubble wrap, ASMR right there. But seriously, I haven't even made it halfway across just yet. Packaging is unreal. Oh boy. Just when you think it's all over, you get to the bumper and they have foam around the high parts and they have that saran wrapped on there on both sides. You guys are really, really amazing at packaging. Oof. And this thing was no joke to even carry over here. This is a heavy steel bumper. Here she is in most of her glory because there's still other parts that go onto this as well. So as you guys can see, I went with the JL Midwith Steel Bumper. Uh, I think they call it the Stealth Bumper as well. There are actually two other cuts, if you will, of this bumper. Uh, there's actually a full length, which covers like all the way to your tire, kind of like the factory bumper, comes out really wide. And then there's another even shorter version of this bumper. That's the competition cut. I mean, it is tight. So it is really tight here so you can get maximum, you know, your whole entire wheel is open. I went with the mid-width because I still wanted that stubby look, but I didn't want to go with the full competition cut. Now I actually was stuck between this and actually they have another one. It's the exact same, but it has a stinger that comes out of the front of it. And I love the look of the stinger bumpers, but I think that this one matches the body lines a little bit better. And the fact that it matches up. You can see where this curves kind of up, it actually curves and matches right into the fenders. You guys will see once I finally install this thing, the, how amazing this looks on the JL. Other than that, you guys can see why I was saying I want to put the cubes in the bumper. There's some perfect cutouts here for the cubes and then a fair lead mount here for a winch. That's right. The winch actually will go. So it'll sit like this. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll sit more like this, obviously. It's leaning back a little bit, but the winch will flush mount into here. There's actually a plate on the back of that that you set the winch on, and it sits nice and low in there, not on top of the bumper. Uh, as you can see here, if I were to have a winch, I would have to mount it almost to the top here, unless I drill a hole and kind of custom fabbed something up and yada, yada, yada. This actually has a hole pre-cut and it actually comes with, and I think it's actually in the box back there, but it comes with a mounting plate for a winch. So we'll have to do another video on that as well. And I wish I could show you guys how nice this powder coating is in person. I mean, this is like the best I could do is it get super, super close up. It's very fine grit. It's, I don't know if you could hear it. It's grinding down my nail there, <laughs> but it's very fine grit. It's not very like, thick at all but it's very very like very sturdy actually my rear bumper I've taken quite a few rock chips to it and I mean this stuff is very very durable so I'm actually really happy because they actually did an amazing job with the powder coating you'll actually notice that among a lot of the parts that uh, we have here they're actually pre powder coated actually my fenders I meant to get them raw steel but they actually came powder coated as well we ended up stripping that all down and painting them obviously that's why they're smooth but I'm just a huge fan of road armor and kind of what they've done they actually have a ton of truck bumpers they just started getting into like Jeep stuff so that's why uh, it was a good partnership for them them and me they're the number one smooth steel bumper which is awesome because these things are so so heavy duty I almost like 
almost need help lifting this because it is it's pretty heavy i'm not gonna lie they're actually a company based out of texas and the other reason i can get behind that is because they are a u.s company uh, they're right there in texas i actually want to go visit them with the jeep once i have all these parts on um, but they actually do a lot for veterans they actually hire veterans and they do a lot of trail rides uh, they actually did a moab ride with some veterans as well uh, so i can really get behind uh, this company's message and uh, i'm really happy to help support them and they're obviously happy to have me on board as well so that's why i'm very excited and very proud to be part of the road armor family or community because they're the number one U.S. manufactured smooth steel bumper. They work a lot with the veterans and of course they're right here out of the good old USA. And I can't lie to you guys, I'm really, really excited to get this bumper on here. I can't wait for you guys to see this bumper on this Wrangler, especially with the flares. I don't think I'm going to color match it. I'm probably going to leave it black. I think color matching is just going to be, it's, it's way too much green. Uh, I've seen some people that do like the color match inner fender liners and like color match suspension and the color match front bar. It's just, it's too much with the green. I think that leaving it black for now uh, will definitely do this entire bumper and this entire Jeep justice. I do think, however, those A-pillar mounts that I have for that 50-inch light bar, I think I will color match those because I kind of want those to blend in and almost seem like, like I have a 50-inch light bar up there just floating, if that makes sense. Because I also don't want to have too much black on the Jeep. I think we're having like just enough of everything as it is. But anyways, I'm gonna try and figure out how to uh repack all this stuff because there's a lot of foam and boxes and all this stuff and I'm gonna try and kind of keep it out of the way so that way Hal can use the garage a little bit but uh, for right now this is where we are at guys I just want to let you guys know that all the parts are here there's gonna be a ton of install videos coming your way and I am so excited to be part of the Road Armor family and I hope you guys are excited to see everything that Road Armor has to offer and like I said super excited to be out at SEMA 2019 second year in a row that I will be going if you guys are going please leave a comment in the description below maybe I'll see you out there we'll be getting a ton of awesome footage out there see what kind of parts are new for 2019 I do know of some parts that are coming for the JL, actually the JK as well because they're kind of retrofitting like the fenders and stuff, um, and the Gladiator that Road Armor is coming out with and I'm super excited to see their booth because they're going to have a whole like VR, I think they're going to have a VR experience which I mean, <sighs> we also have an off-roading video coming up in like a week or two, I don't know, I'm not sure when that video is going to come out, uh, but we will be off-roading the Jeep uh, and getting some trail badges as well here soon. Thanks again for tuning in guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video, hope you guys are excited for all of these parts to be installed. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a big thumbs up, get down there, leave some comments below, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and as always, we will catch you guys in the next one.